Welcome back. The goal of this episode is to share with you exactly what you should be doing in the next couple of weeks when it comes to the 2020 stimulus payout. The reality is that Americans fall into a number of different categories and depending on which category you fall into, there are different things you should be doing in the next two weeks because payments are going to start to go out and you want to make sure that you, you do the right thing to make sure you do get that payment. So I want to go ahead and share with you exactly what that is. So you fall into probably one of these four different categories. Either you already filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return, you're an SSA or an RRB recipient, you're SSI, VA, or low income, meaning low income, you earn less than $14,000 or $12,000 if you're a senior citizen, or you did not file tax returns, but you should have. So again, the goal of this episode is to go through each of these different categories and, and tell you exactly what your next step should be, no matter which category you fall into. So let's go ahead and tackle this one first. What if you already filed a 2018 or 2019 tax return? Well, if you already get a direct deposit to your bank account with your tax refund, then you're going to do nothing. So you're going to simply sit back and wait for two weeks or so, or depending how long it takes the IRS to get the payments out to you, there is nothing for you to do, literally zero. So just sit back and wait on that. However, if you filed your returns and you get check refunds, there's a couple of things you can actually do. You can do nothing again, but in this case, you're going to wait two to six months to receive your, your stimulus check from the U.S. Treasury. If you're okay with that, then go ahead and do that. That's going to be if you're in the situation where the stimulus doesn't really mean anything to you either now or later. However, if you want to get your payment earlier, you can fill out the banking info on the IRS web portal. And if you do that, you will get a direct deposit a lot sooner than you'll get that check. And this here is the page from the IRS that deals with that web portal. And this is exactly what they said. The IRS does not have my direct deposit information. What can I do? And now this is in relation to those who have already filed their taxes. In the coming weeks, the Treasury plans to develop a web-based portal for individuals to provide their banking information to the IRS online so that individuals can receive payments immediately as opposed to checks in the mail. When this portal goes live, we will share with you the web page and the link and go through that information with you. If that's something you're interested in and you want to be notified of that when it happens, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications. We will release an episode when the IRS does finally go live with this portal to put in your direct deposit information if you've already filed taxes. Now, if you fall into the category where you get SSA or RRB uh, benefits, then this is probably the easiest of all. There is nothing for you to do. There, matter of fact, this was sort of a contentious area just about a week ago or so because they were telling you that you need to file, but you don't need to file if you, re you receive full Social Security, full Social Security Disability or RRB. You're going to just wait. The federal government already has your information on file. They already direct deposit uh, money to you, and they're just going to use that information to direct deposit to you as well. This is the IRS uh, Department of the Treasury page that deals with that, and this is what they said. The U.S. Department of the Treasury and the Internal Revenue Service announced that Social Security beneficiaries who are not typically required to file tax returns will not need to file an abbreviated tax return to receive an economic impact payment. Instead, payments will be automatically deposited into their accounts. And these are for you if you are an RRB recipient as well. However, if you get SSI, VA checks, or you're low income, you do not fall into that previous category where you can just sit back and wait and receive the benefits directly deposited into your bank account, at least as of April 5th. This may change in the next coming days. It wouldn't surprise me if it does. Uh, that they will direct deposit, especially for SSI or VA checks. Uh, low income, probably not. However, as of now, this is what you need to do. You must file a simple tax return through the U.S. Treasury Department portal in the next couple of weeks. Again, this portal is not live yet. This is the web page that is dealing with it, and this is what they are saying. The Treasury Department and the Internal Revenue Service today announced that distribution of economic impact payments will begin in the next three weeks and will be distributed automatically with no action required for most people. However, 
Some taxpayers who typically do not file returns will need to submit a simple tax return to receive the economic impact payment. Now, again, that portal is not live yet. When it does go live, we will do another episode on that where we will share the link and show you exactly how to do that. So if you're an SSI recipient, VA, or a low income earner who is not required to file taxes and that's something you're interested in, again, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so you can be notified when we come up with that episode. And this is the final category. I did not file a tax return in 2018 or 2019, but I should have. So if this is you, you must file your taxes as soon as possible. You cannot use the simple tax filing portal that SSI recipients can use or low tax income earners can use uh, or, or VA earners can use. You have to file normal, regular taxes. And there's a few ways you can do this. If you earn less than $69,000 a year as a single filer, you can use the IRS's free tax portal. I will leave you a link to that below. You can just click on that, put in your information, and you will be good to go. However, if you don't feel comfortable using that and you really want another system to help you out a little more, there are some programs like TurboTax or Intuit TurboTax where they can kind of help funnel you through what you need to do. And I believe TurboTax is actually offering sort of a simplified format a little bit, especially because of the coronavirus stimulus payout that's happening. I will leave you a link to that if you would like to go that direction. Or if you don't feel comfortable with either one of those directions because you're thinking, I just don't want to put my information on my own anywhere. I need somebody to help me out. You can always go to a tax accountant if you would like. But of course, this is going to be your highest cost option. I can tell you in New York State, if filing uh, state and federal taxes with a tax accountant is about $200, uh, depending. It could be a little bit less or a little bit more depending on where you go. This is the IRS page that deals with those who did not file a tax return, and this is what the IRS said. I have a tax filing obligation but have not filed my tax return for 2018 or 2019. Can I still receive an economic impact payment? Yes. The IRS urges anyone with a tax filing obligation who has not yet filed a tax return for 2018 or 2019 to file as soon as they can to receive an economic impact payment. Taxpayers should include direct deposit banking information on the return. So these here are the four major categories that nearly all Americans fall into and exactly what they should be doing in the next couple of weeks, no matter which category they do fall into. If, however, I did not address your specific situation and you feel like you still have some questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will try to address that specifically with you. Or if I need to come out with another episode to deal with a specific group of people, I will do that as well. My goal is really to help you out as much as I possibly can throughout this entire situation. If you feel like this is valuable, you like the information, I encourage you as always, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave it a like, all those good things. As always, we will catch you guys next time.